Hi, I'm Scott, and I love bodybuilding. And I've got balls. Have you got balls? If you do, be good to your balls. And your balls will be good to you, I hope. I give you many years of faithful service. Uh, there's a $74.6 billion men's underwear industry. As of 2024, in the USA alone, they're here to help us folks who have balls. But you'll need to choose the ball-friendly styles. What am I talking about? This is, this is, I've got a point. I've got a point. Let me back up and give you some ball context. Testicles are located outside the body. You know this. And this is by design because they work best when their temperature is slightly cooler than normal body temperature. Why? I have no idea. Of course, if they just worked well at any temperature, we didn't talk about this at all. But they are what they are. So the male body has an interesting temperature cooling system. Yeah, no joke. Dude, this is real. And you know it. The testicles ascend, that means go up, and descend, that means go down, to control their own temperature for optimal sperm production. This is wild. You don't need to do anything. It's even easier than using your AC system at home or at work. The balls do all the work for you. That is cool. So for such a cool thing, we got to give it a name. And uh, the doctors and researchers probably have already, but I'm going to give it my own name. I'm going to call it the Ball Temperature System, or BTS. Uh, but that's not good. It's a South, a South Korean band boy. That's a, that's a South Korean boy band. <clears throat> How do I know that? I like to keep up on current events. Uh, let's call it the Ball Automated Temperature System, a.k.a. BATS. B-A-T-S. Okay. If you wear loose trousers or shorts and loose boxer shorts or nothing, then your bats is probably working. But much of men's underwear isn't designed to work well with bats. It doesn't allow your testicles to move. As a result, your balls are often too hot. Testicles on a naked guy are 2 to 7 degrees Celsius cooler than normal body temperature. Yet, modern underwear focuses on sleek and tight styling. Sure, it's sexy, and with spandex and other stretchy fabrics, it's often very comfortable. Yet, it kills bats' efficiency rating, like an aircon from the 1950s. Tight underwear has a greater effect on sperm than smoking or drinking. So, why do we hear so much about drinking less, and quitting smoking to save your sperm. But we never hear about bats friendly underwear. Hmm. We need underwear that allows a guy's private parts to be in the same position they would be if he were standing naked, you know, on Earth where there's gravity. In recent years, there are finally some options to protect our balls, but I've yet to find any underwear that truly allows freedom of ball motion. <laughs> going commando while wearing loose going commando while wearing loose fitting trousers. Or walking around the buff. That's what I do cost is I never wear clothes at home. This is this is my this is my YouTube this is my YouTube uniform, because I can't be naked on YouTube. So, walking around the buff, which I do all the time at home, or the best options that I know about, and here they are. I found two kinds of bats-friendly underwear. There's anatomically correct underwear. This kind provides a condom-like sheath for your penis and the balls, hanging out in separate pouches below. It's simply splitting your penis in one section of the underwear and your balls in the other section. And everything I've set up to here so far is based on uh, reputable academic studies that I've read. I trust that information. 
this is coming from the underwear manufacturers. And like this, it supports increased airflow and reduced wall temperature. Let's assume that this is working and this underwear design is better than nothing. Uh, still, the marketing guy's got it wall. So you're gonna have to deal with names like Torpedo Underwear and uh, Big Bulge Underwear. Uh, names like this, which appeal to your vanity, not to, not to save in the spur. The other bats friendly underwear is designed with a single pouch. Balls and penis go into the same pouch, but the pouch is roomy. More space than a New York City apartment. Again, the underwear companies market this to guys. Vanity, not their desire to maintain a healthy spur. And they use names like Enhancer, Bulge Blaster, and like that. Regardless of function or appearance, sales of anatomically correct briefs have been a huge success. And if it's your thing, they're pretty sexy. I've checked the trade magazines on this, and indeed, sales are way up in this category of men's underwear. This is fun to share with you. And it's sure, it's a little bit silly and I keep, I keep laughing. But seriously, if you have some worries about your sperm, seek medical advice, not my advice. Until next time, may your sperm be healthy and happy flexible.